What's going on everybody? This is your boy Retro coming at you with another video. Day one of E3 for Microsoft has officially been wrapped up and I'm going to talk about the Xbox One but before I get into it, let's start off with a little bit of Xbox 360 news. Now they first talked about three new Xbox 360 titles that will be coming out later this year. World of Tanks which is a 15 on 15 warfare type game. Looks a little interesting, not something that I would, pretty, I would buy but it looks pretty good. Uh, Max Curse of Brotherhood, another game that they talked about, and Dark Souls 2. Uh, a lot of fans who like Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2 will be coming out later on this year for the Xbox 360. Uh, so stay tuned to that. They didn't give it a release date, but they said later on this year. More like, most like around holiday season. So, they talked a little bit about those games that are be coming out. Starting today though, there's going to be a new slimmer, sleeker design of the Xbox 360 as you can see in the picture there. And it's going to be based on the Xbox One design. So it's going to look more so like the Xbox One. And that, like I said, that will be dropping today. Uh, starting July 1st, there will be two free game downloads per month to Xbox Gold members. Uh, it's this new way of Microsoft giving back. Like you can get two free game downloads. Uh, they're going to be exclusive to gold members. Silver members do not qualify for this. And, um, you know, it'll be interesting to see uh, what games we can actually download um, right from the marketplace itself. Now, getting into the Xbox One itself, this is the main, the juicy details that everybody wants to know about. Uh, starting price is going to be 499 bucks, pretty much 500 bucks, and it's set to drop in November. There will be no more Microsoft points. Everything is going to be converted to real currency, real dollar bills now. So the Microsoft points will be gone. And Xbox Gold Sharing, allowing anyone on, on the uh, the console itself to be able to play online and not actually have to, you know, have different accounts to play online. Now, the big deal was the exclusives. Everybody talked about in the reveal, Xbox didn't, talk, didn't go into much about the exclusives. We got Rise of Son of Rome. Rise, Son of Rome, Killer Instinct, a game, a fighting game I'm looking to get into. Sunset Overdrive, Forza Motorsport, uh, Minecraft, the Xbox Edition, Quantum Break, with, like we've seen in the reveal. D4, Project Spark, the open world creative game where you can create your own environment. Crimson Dragon, Dead Rising 3, The Witcher 3, Halo, uh, coming in 2014, and the last game they showed was Titanfall. Now, everybody talked about in the reveal, why the reveal sucked is because they didn't talk about no games. Now, as you can see in this uh, first day of the conference, the first thing they got into when they uh, started off the conference, they showed Metal Gear Solid 5 right off the jump. That already told me that they were going to talk about games right from the jump. There wasn't a whole lot of talk about Smart Glass, the Xbox voice control system, and the Kinect. Everything was focused on games. And I think that's what a lot of people wanted to, talk, wanted to know what was Microsoft going to do when it came to games. So I'm pretty pleased at the games that I saw. Uh, I didn't see them talk about Gears of War at all, so we, we don't know if that franchise is going to be continued. But Titanfall looked good, uh, the game that they showed at the end. Dead Rising 3 looked really good, um, the open world zombie game. A um, couple other games that I saw that were good. Killer Instinct, like I said, a game that I must get. A good looking fighting game that uh, they definitely looked, they definitely changed the engine around in that game a lot. Um, what other game did I? Forza Motorsport looked good. Uh, speaking of Forza Motorsport 5, uh, this Drivatar uh, function that learns your, your driving style and how you drive and actually be able to incorporate that into the AI so that it feels like you're playing, you know, human based qualities and styles rather than just playing programmed AI. So that game looked good and actually I might actually pick that up. Um, Rise, Son of Rome. Now they talked about that a lot uh, that's the out of all the gameplay that they showed I think they showed that the longest and uh, it looks good it reminded me of God of War in the terms of fighting for your fighting for the throne fighting for the city fighting for your country uh, a lot of intense action a lot of button motion controls where you have to hit the button corresponding to what you see on the screen to do a particular function a particular action uh, it looks really good now that game I'm, I'm thinking about it getting uh, that will be available on launch made by Crytek using the Crytek engine uh, we've seen Quantum Break they gave a little bit another scene of Quantum Break um, what other game did they show uh, obviously Halo is gonna be you know a game I'm gonna be getting uh, let me get dive a little bit more into the the price 499 a lot of people thought this console was gonna be in the mid 700 800 dollars 
$4.99 is a great price to start this all with the amount of technology that they're using for this uh, it'll be interesting to see what the P PS4 uh, price will be but $4.99 that is a good deal I know for a fact now with the games that they showed uh, along with the multiplayer that's going to be out uh, with the new connect uh, motion control features I definitely will be getting Xbox One on release I, I just that the price the games they showed today combined with the multiplayer uh, and all the new features they showed in the reveal it, it's, it's a no-brainer that I have to get this console now I'm still not a fan of the design of the console but like everybody said the game the consoles are focused on games now if you factor in all the extra stuff with the uh, voice control and the connect gameplay and to be able to multitask uh, through uh, applications c combined with the games that I've seen today um, with some more games that they're going to probably talk about later on uh, in the conference you have to say that Xbox One at least not saying it's going to win the E3 conference but it, it, it changes my mind on whether I'm going to get the console now so uh, yeah let me know your thoughts in the, the comment section below what do you think about today's conference and uh, the games that you saw and anything that I forgot to mention, uh, you know, drop that in the comment section below. We can get some discussion. Will you be getting an Xbox One now after you've seen today's conference? So uh, let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions. This is your boy Retro. Peace.